Dak Prescott is going to undergo officially season-ending surgery on his severely injured hamstring. Jerry Jones telling uh, 10, or 105.3 The Fan in Dallas on the radio show today that Dak will undergo surgery in New York tomorrow to repair the avulsion of his hamstring, which means the muscle, the tendon, comes off the bone, speaking to the significance of that injury. Scott, it was all but confirmed this weekend that Dak was going to miss the remainder of this year. They put out the idea he was seeking a second opinion in New York City. I guess that second opinion confirmed surgery to end the year would be needed. And here are the Dallas Cowboys at 3-6 and six after 10 weeks of this NFL season. Also in a tailspin, also more than likely going to have a new head coaching, a head coach and coaching staff entering next season. Yeah, and again, you know, probably the answer is yes, but it makes you wonder: Had Dallas not re-signed Dak Prescott to a ridiculous, in my eyes, uh, four years, two hundred sixty million dollar deal, uh, would they do it now? You know, knowing this injury, now it's not a career-ending injury by any stretch, but it, it's still an injury and. You know, he gives you an opportunity to bottom out, get a top five draft choice, no doubt, get a quarterback and just move on if you wanted to from Dak, whereas now they're locked into this guy. There's no way, right. you know, listen, I'm not a doctor, man, but I never thought for a second he was going to play again this year if the reports were true that the muscle's pulling away from the bone. I mean, come on, right? seriously, you're going to be playing in a couple of weeks? They were talking about, you know, questioning whether they were going to put him on IR or not. It's like the muscle's off the bone. What are you, yeah. you know, what am I missing here? So, yeah, they might not win again. They got two games on the schedule that on paper you think, okay, they got the Giants and they got Carolina. But all the other games, Cincinnati, Philadelphia, Washington a couple of times, I mean, you really are looking at a, you know, a four, five, six win at at best, uh, you know, Cowboys team. No doubt. And Scott, the projected odds haven't really caught up for the remainder of this year, of course, week to week, as Cooper Rush, as we learned yesterday, will remain the starting quarterback. Yippee. The week-to-week odds, at least as of right now, for the Cowboys. They're a seven-and-a-half-point home underdog at the star on Monday night in the Lone Star Showdown against the Houston Texans. And the Cowboys are going to be more than likely an underdog in basically every game to end the year, give or change, maybe a contest or two, but mostly an underdog. With Mike McCarthy as the head coach since 2020, Dallas is just 12-16 and against the spread as an underdog. One of the worst underdog covering teams in the NFL in the last four and a half years. It's not going to be good for Dallas and not that we assumed it to be. Micah Parsons, Scott, I don't want to say was critical of Mike McCarthy at the end of Sunday's game, but was asked about the situation and basically said what happens with Mike McCarthy is above his pay grade. He'll get a new head coaching job or he'll get a new coaching job wherever he goes. He wanted, Micah, wanted to win a Super Bowl, a championship for the guys, the veterans on his team. And thus, Mike McCarthy at his Monday press conference said that he and Micah had a conversation about that because anytime you leak some tea outside of the facility, you address it internally. And Micah Parsons on his podcast, which is fine when things are good, not so great when things are bad, explained he never intended to throw Mike McCarthy under the bus, although he kind of threw Mike McCarthy under the bus. Yeah, you know, if you watched it, and I did, Ben, the whole interview was right after the game in front of his locker. It went about five minutes. Yeah. And it really wasn't an anti-McCarthy thing versus a pro, yeah. you know, I feel bad for the veteran players thing. But you have to be careful. Everything was kind of good. You know, you know, when he went with McCarthy moving on, it, you know, we see it. We're, we're talking about it. all these coaches are all getting new jobs. So he was just basically saying in the beginning, yeah, McCarthy's probably going to get another job if that's the case. And so be it. I feel bad for the veteran players who, you know, don't have that much time left in their careers. But and so right. that was all kind of good. But then he threw in the Zach Martins, you know, practice and work harder than uh, any day Mike McCarthy ever did. That, that was the yeah. shot of like, okay, that really wasn't necessary. It, you, yes, you were trying to attack him, but it does show a lack of respect that a player has for his head coach. There's no two ways. Right. That he can't deny that. 